When I pull up on a hater, watch a hater fall back. I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall flat. If I die, all I know, I'm a motherfucking legend. It's so great for my city. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God. If I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I been the coast greatest blessing. What's going on YouTube? In the comments down below, let me know who you're rocking with in MLB. You know, we got the show coming out on the 20th. I'm definitely going to get into that. I'm going to stay on top of the card game when it comes to building a team. I'm going to be kind of new to it because it's never been on Xbox. Uh, this is the first time it's going to actually be on Xbox. So I'm definitely going to hop on that, get some gameplay for y'all, some pack openings, things like that. But go ahead and let me know who you're rocking with. And then in the next video, I'm going to pick a winner from the comments in this video. And we'll do a little giveaway. But let's go ahead and jump into this video right here. Um, I got a play that I like to do, you know, mainly on my third downs. Um, but it's like one of those plays that, you know, if you're stuck and you just need a play to get you that first down or, you know, just, just to get some yardage, just, just a good play in general. Um, you can see right there, it's going to be out of Empty Gun Niner. It's stick. You could probably do this in uh, different formations, but I found it best when it works out of this formation. I run a lot of empty sometimes and um, it's very effective. So we're gonna get onto the practice field. I'm gonna show you, you know, uh, hot routes we do, adjustments we make, and then you're gonna see it against all the different coverages out there. So let's go ahead and jump into the practice field and get that thing going for you. All right, first defense we're gonna go against is gonna be a cover two. This is the play with no adjustments. Um, the adjustments we're gonna make is we're gonna put X on a streak, we're gonna put RB on a streak, and everybody else you wanna leave alone. You can make adjustments with A, I do not recommend making adjustments with Y. Don't even put them on a, a hot route slant because the slant changes. It actually goes a little bit higher and we don't want that. Keep on more on the slant that he's on. And then from here, you're gonna motion over Marquise Brown and once he passes the left tackle, make sure he passes him because if he doesn't, he's gonna go into a block animation. So once he passes the left tackle, you're gonna call Hut and we'll let the play develop and see what happens. When you're playing against cover two, you always want to pay attention to that middle linebacker in the middle of the field. He's always going to drop back really far unless they make adjustments to their zone drops. But if they don't, you can see how far back he goes. But the slant is very important in this play. If I don't put um, that receiver on that slant, that linebacker is not going to go to the right like that. He'll stick with Marquise Brown a lot better. I'll show you real quick after we uh, get through this replay. But he's the key to making Marquise Brown get wide open. But you can see off rip, you can hit the slant for a quick yardage right here. You can hit him right there and get five, maybe 10, maybe 15 yards right there. Um, you can low ball to the right on the tight end and get you three or four yards. Um, but what we're looking for is Marquise Brown down the field like this. And that's why you put that other receiver on a streak to take the safety out of the play. And you can definitely score on this play. Um, it, it's happened many times, but it, it, you can get solid yards right here. All right, so this is going to be the play against cover four drop. Same adjustments. You're going to put X on a streak. You're going to put RB on a streak. Once again, you're not, you don't want to mess with Y. You can make adjustments with A. You know, throughout the game, I'll give the opponent different looks. You know, I'll put them on a streak. I'll put them on a drag route, things like that. Um, but for the most part, you don't have to adjust them at all. That's actually a really good route. Um, and then once again, you're going to go ahead and motion over RB. And once he passes a left tackle, call hut. Same thing, right up, the, right in that pocket. You did. That's the thing about zones. I feel like you get a little bit better results when against cover four than you do against cover two because you kind of have to watch that middle linebacker. But um, same thing, you know, you got to account for your opponent's zone drops. If they're if they're dropping back their hooks really far, or if they're using it, they're gonna have to make a decision. Am I gonna go guard, you know, uh, Marquise Brown down the middle? Or am I going to guard the slant route right there? So it's a, it's a decision route. You know, they got to pick and choose who they're going to guard. But if they don't have anybody guarding that specific, you know, pocket in the zone, you're going to get that every time. Even if they have that zone drop to like 10 to 15, you could probably still throw that route. You know, I'm just uh, leading it into the inside, doing a little bullet pass. Uh, but like I said, you can easily hit the slant if uh, he decides to use that user. Um, that middle linebacker and drop back and guard Marquise Brown. Um, you can see I have my tight end on the flat. He kind of did a weird route right there, um, but 
you get a all right this is going to be the play against cover three the adjustments are going to be a little bit different instead of putting x on a streak you're actually going to put them on a drag route uh you're going to put rb on a streak route again same thing with y don't want to change them a you can change them if you want to we're going to leave them at default right now b you can also change them up if you want to but we're going to leave them as default right now same thing though with rb you're going to motion them over once he passes that left tackle we're going to go ahead and call hut same pocket cover three is probably the worst defense against this actual setup um that's actually how i got most of my touchdowns doing this play um i'm gonna show you what it looks like if we set it up the same way against cover two and cover four it actually doesn't work as good so when we do it against cover two or cover four we usually put x on a streak we're gonna put rb on a streak motion them over and watch what happens it doesn't work as good you can see that that linebacker sticks with them a lot more um so if you know it's cover three make sure you put that guy on a drag route um the way you can tell it's cover three is just pay attention to the safeties you know where they're at how far the cornerbacks are off the line things like that that's how you can pre-read what defense they're in so like i said you're gonna want to put them on a drag route uh x on a drag route instead of a streak and you i'm gonna show you in the replay what it does to the uh defense and then you're gonna motion over rb again and once he passes the left tackle go ahead and call hut and it just completely changes how they play the uh, against the defense so the big difference of putting x on a drag route instead of a streak against cover three is that middle linebacker and you can see how he follows the slant route a lot more instead of staying back with marquise brown um you can see that safety that's playing the flat slash uh curl hooks over there he he follows the drag route once again this is just how madden is programmed um you know we have no power over that that's just one of the things we find the flaws in the zones and that's how we're able to beat them that's how money plays become money plays um i wouldn't say this is necessarily a money play but it's just a way to i guess glitch cover three uh but you can see what it does and i get that open pocket once again you have to account for your opponent's zone drops um the drag mount the drag route might be a lot more open if the zone drops for the linebackers and the hooks are like at 15 to 20 yards which i don't know a lot of people that actually put i don't know a lot of people that actually even mess with their hook zones um uh, most people just leave my default and that's what default's going to look like default's going to usually follow whoever comes across their face um you can see right there the slant route does a hell of a job just dragging the linebacker with them um that purple zone that safety up there i don't know what he's doing i don't know why he's following the drag route but it works against every cover three that's what it looks like and that pocket's always going to be there right there and you can see 10 20 30 yards easy all right this is going to be against man coverage if you've seen my other video then you know curl routes are deadly against man coverage we're going to go ahead and put him on a curl route and then smart route him x and everybody else we're going to leave the same rb we're going to put him on a streak and we're still going to motion him over and that's going to give us a good idea if the defense is in man coverage if he follows me then we know that that's man coverage and then we're just going to hit the curl route and get easy yardage Like I said previous in the previous video, you can sometimes take these uh, curl routes for touchdowns. Um, they're deadly routes against man coverage. They're hard to guard. Um, if you, they're not out there or they have a purple route at a specific uh, zone drop, then you know, you're going to get this curl out every single time against man coverage. And you can also see that the slant route can get open. You can see that the, uh, the tight end could get open on that five and out. This play is deadly against man coverage. Um, the tight end can definitely get open on man coverage right there. The slant route, if you have a good route running receiver, can definitely get open on the slant route. You can see he actually got beat right there, but the other uh, DB ran into him, so it kind of slowed me down. But if they're in man coverage, just throw your curl routes. Time it, get it down, and you can still get this for a touchdown sometimes, like y'all seen in my previous video. But don't sleep on your curl routes, especially if they're in man coverage. They keep spamming with you in man coverage, block a tight end, get extra time, and just get your curl route going. You can put two of them out there on the field. They're going to have to guess who you're going to throw to. Easy play, easy easy yardage right there. All right, YouTube, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you can learn something from this play, you know, take something from it. Um, you can definitely do this play in different formations. It doesn't have to necessarily be this formation. I just think it works best out of this formation. Um, this is actually in the San Francisco 49ers playbook. I forgot to mention that. Um, but go ahead and give it a try. You know, throw it in your arsenal. Just, you know, an extra play for you to do to get some easy yardage. 
um on another note though i think i have an idea what i want to do for the 500 sub giveaway i'm thinking of doing five 100 giveaways you know instead of just one giveaway uh, get more people involved more people more chances to win so uh, you know that's kind of the route i'm taking right now we might come up with something different um i'm not too sure yet but that that's right now that's that's what i'm going with um if you have any other ideas let me know in the comments down below but with all that being said like comment subscribe help your boy out let's get it